we are back in good old 1986. May 14th? 15th. Best to build in a little lag time. Gives you a chance to catch up. Looks like the estate sale is still going on. Hey, don't you want to stay, Doc? You gotta stop the bank from selling off all your old stuff. What are you talking about? Estate sale? Bank? I'm not dead, Marty. Clara and I are having a little garage sale, that's all. Garage sale? You mean... Marty, you're back from your trip. Hello, Doc. Selling off the family treasures, eh? Uh, not quite, but I hope you find something you like. Speaking of which, did you find what you were looking for? Yeah, I sure did. Great! Hey, is that a box of Asimov? Let me get this straight. Are you telling me you live here now? In 1986? Well, naturally. Claire and I maintain a part-time residence here. Wasn't that the case when you left? No. Strange. I can't imagine not sticking around. After all, I've got my late father's foundation to supervise. If I wasn't here, who'd present the annual Earhart Brown Scholarship for Young Scientists? <laughs> Something funny? I'll explain it to you later. I don't see what's so funny about looking after a family legacy. Oh, almost forgot. I've got something for you. Happy graduation. Graduation? But that's not for another... The McFlies of Hill Valley. An exhaustively detailed history of your family. From your great-great-grandfather Seamus to the present. You traveled through time to write this? Well, most of the research was done traditionally, but your grandma Sylvia proved to be something of a mystery. Which is why you traveled back to 1931, uh, to look for her. Exactly. Who knew she was singing in a speakeasy on her stage name? This is great, Doc. Thanks. Ah, uh, it's the least I could do for the man who saved me from making the worst mistake of my life. Yoo-hoo! Dr. Brown! Edna? Heine! What's going on? What are you doing with my dog? The same thing I do every afternoon, silly man. Giving him such much needed exercise. Isn't that right, Einstein? Hey, dollface, it's past time for our 3.30. Coming, sweetie! Oh, Mr. McFly, have you seen my stepson anywhere? Oh, Biff, I think you're late for an appointment. Oh, uh, well, gosh, uh, you're right, Mr. McFly. Oh, uh, hi, Marty. Don't they make a great little family? You'd never know they met in prison. Don't say anything. Let's just walk quietly into the lab and hope there are no more surprises. Marty, you can't be here. If your younger self sees you, the consequences could be catastrophic. My younger self? Oh, right. Bring him along, too. This concerns all of us. What do you mean? Does something happen to us? Do we turn into assholes or something? Nah, we're fine. But our great-great-grandkids? What the hell? Great Scott. Doc, you gotta come back with me. Back to Don't listen to him, Doc. It's me you gotta help. If you want to save Jennifer and our 12 kids. What? That timeline was overwritten five jumps back. Doc, Jennifer's how can there be two more of me here? I have no idea. My all rights of space-time continuum should be tearing apart like a cheap dish rag right now. It already is. What my evil twin and I are trying to say is the future is totally jacked up. And you gotta come with me to save it. No, me! So... We meet at last. You've altered my timeline once too often. What's going on, Doc? Well, we do seem to have a conundrum on our hands. Or three. Yeah, Doc, but which one is the real me? Isn't it obvious, Marty? 
Come on. Prepare to be erased. Doc, wait. What about the space-time continuum? Yeah, what about my future? And mine? The future can wait. We've got a present to catch up with. Where to, Doc? Mr. McFly, thrill me. 